It looks like Samsung's Exynos processors might be making a big comeback with the Galaxy S26 series. For a while, people were wondering if Samsung would stop using its own Exynos chips and just stick with Qualcomm's Snapdragon processors in their high-end phones. But now, new reports suggest that Samsung is working hard to bring back the Exynos chip next year. At first, there were rumors that the Galaxy S26 phones would only use Snapdragon chips like the Galaxy S25 series did, but now it seems like Samsung is making good progress with its new chip, called the Exynos 2600. The main challenge is whether Samsung's factories, called foundries, can build these chips properly using a new 2 nanometers nanometer technology. Making processors at this tiny size is very tricky. One reason the previous Exynos 2500 chip wasn't used in the Galaxy S25 was because Samsung couldn't produce enough good quality chips with its 3 nanometer process. They had problems with yields, which means how many working chips they could make out of every batch. Because of this, Samsung had to rely only on Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy, also known as the Snapdragon 8 Elite, for the Galaxy S25 series. Those chips were made by a company called TSMC, which is based in Taiwan, but now it looks like Samsung is finally improving. Reports from Korea say that Samsung's factories have boosted their 2 nanometer chip yields to around 40-50%. That might not sound like much, but in the chip-making business, that's a big improvement. Generally, companies aim for around 60% yield before they start mass-producing a new processor. Samsung is hoping to start mass-producing the Exynos 2600 chip by November 2025. That gives them a bit more time to improve things even further. If they manage to raise their yields and performance, Samsung could finally put Exynos chips back in their top Galaxy phones for some markets. Meanwhile, TSMC is still ahead. Their 2 nanometer chip yields have already reached 60%, which means they're ready for large-scale production. That's why Qualcomm continues to use TSMC for making Snapdragon processors, including the one that powers the Galaxy S25. The big question now is whether Samsung will go back to its old plan of using different chips for different parts of the world. In the past, some regions like Europe would get Exynos-powered Galaxy phones, while North America and other regions would get Snapdragon versions. Recent reports suggest Samsung might do the same thing with the Galaxy S26. Europe might get the Exynos 2600, while the rest of the world could get Snapdragon. This is a smart move for Samsung because it gives them some flexibility. If the Exynos 2600 performs well and works without problems, they can start using it in more countries. But if there are still issues with performance, battery life, or manufacturing problems, Samsung can stick with Snapdragon chips where needed. This is a very important moment for Samsung's chip-making business. If the Exynos 2600 succeeds, it could open the door for more Samsung-made chips in future phones. But if it struggles, Qualcomm might continue to be the main chip supplier for Samsung's flagship phones. In short, there's a lot riding on the Exynos 2600. It's not just about how fast it runs, but also about how well Samsung can produce it. The company wants to prove that its factories can compete with TSMC not just for Samsung's own phones, but to attract other companies to use Samsung's chip-making services too. For now, it seems like the Exynos 2600 is no longer just a key or rumor. It's getting closer to becoming a real product, and if everything goes well, we could see it inside some Galaxy S26 phones next year. The next few months will be crucial to see if Samsung can pull this off.